Brooks suspended for Saturday's Game 3 without pay. It's $84,138, that per our Barbie Marks, for making, quote, unnecessary and excessive contact with Gary Payne in Game 2. That resulted in a broken elbow for the Warriors guard and a separate punishment announcement by the league. Green was docked $25,000 for flipping off the Grizzlies fans in Game 2 in Memphis. Stephen A., do you have a problem with the Brooks suspension? No. Honestly, um, I think he deserved the suspension um, because the, the helicopter swipe that he took and hit the head of Gary Payton, you know, listen, I don't view this in the same light as I view Draymond. That's where, that's where uh, Perkins and I disagreed the other day. Um, when you look at the hit that Gary Payton took, I'm not even taking into account the severity of the actual injury. I know the NBA did, which played a role into why they suspended him. Um, and that's open for debate because a lot of times, a lot of people say it shouldn't come down to what the consequences are. It should be the intent, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I don't mind that. I think you got to take that into consideration. But if you look at Dylan Brooks, he didn't jump. He swiped. You understand what I'm saying? I mean, th th look at that right yeah. there. I mean, he, he barely got off the ground. Didn't even try, just tried to swipe. You see that? I think when you look at the play in its totality, I don't think there's any question. I like Dylan Brooks. I don't think Dylan Brooks is a dirty player, but I do think it was a dirty play, flagrantly so. And when you take into account the severity of what happened, which the NBA clearly has done, that's kind of dangerous for them to take that precedent. Glad you said so again, that's a different subject for uh, that's a different subject altogether. But in terms of the actual play by Dylan Brooks, I thought it was egregious enough to warrant a one-game suspension. Um, I'm glad you said that, Stephen A., because while <clears throat> I don't agree necessarily with the suspension, it is because of that logic. I think the idea of retroactively applying a penalty based on the results doesn't acknowledge the foul itself. And yes, that was a stupid play. It was, I see where it is considered a dirty play. I get that. The pace of that game at that point was frenetic. Brooks was out of control. I do not believe he had malicious intent. It was a stupid play, right? So you serve the penalty. However, to me, Brandon Clark potentially is a half an inch from a broken clavicle or a, some sort of injury in a play that, I don't care what nobody say, we don't watch basketball games and jerseys get grabbed regularly. So that's not a basketball play either. And so, to me, that's where it becomes murky. I understand the suspension. Of course, you want Gary Payton, the second to get as healthy as possible. Um, and this is, the Brooks play is reminiscent to what we saw with Grayson Allen and Alex Caruso. Allen was suspended, or yes, Allen was suspended a game and Caruso obviously missed an amount of, an amount of time. So I understand that, but I just think, to you, as, as you said, the idea that the penalty is based on the result, to me, does not send a good message. Well, that, well, that's not true. That's not true, first of all, Monica. Let me tell you this, okay? On the Draymond Green play, he actually held him up, okay? He actually, he actually, okay, and he was in front of him. It's a difference when you're chasing somebody down with the intent to clothesline them or swipe them from behind. Look, the NBA, the NBA was all the way right about this. We go back and we look at the Grayson Allen on Caruso situation early in the season. It's really no difference. Listen, here's the thing I want to say, okay? I understand the physicality. I understand we want the game not to be soft. I get all that. And, I, and I'm with it. But it's ways to play without making ignorant fouls. And that was an ignorant foul by Dylan Brooks. Here's another thing I want to say. And this is to Stephen A. Put me up there with Stephen A. so I can see him real quick. Where you at? We're right here. Yeah, yeah, well, put, put me, me up. There, there we go. There we yeah, go. No, nah, right. put, put me up. I want to see the, see your face because, listen, here's the problem that I have with you and every other form of players that played in the 90s and the 80s and talking about the NBA is so soft. Listen, let's stop that, okay? Because we don't care. I don't want to see the physicality no more. I don't want to see the Kendrick Perkins of the world. I don't want to see the Charles Oakley of the world. It's called evolution. I want to see high-scoring games. I want to see skills. I want to see elite passing, elite handling, elite shooting. That's what the game wants to see. May and I that's why the, and, May I finish? And that's, why the ra and that's why the ratings are so oh high right now because you want to see Great basketball. I don't want to see a bunch of guys down there throwing elbows and mixing it up. I want to see some pure right. basketball. Right.
Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.